this is a Dr. Bill Quarter with a question for today's presentation. Coke and Pepsi to the rescue or not? Now that question seems a bit tongue in cheek, but there's actually a reflection of an observation that I've had throughout the course of my life. And that is in working with individuals, you see certain individuals that are loaded with vitality, loaded with energy. And you think those individuals are on target, that they do have passion and purpose, that they are out there connecting and contributing and making a positive difference in the workplace. But what you often notice is they have a can of Coke in their hand or a can of Pepsi in their hand. And it's that caffeine and sugar that's driving them to their action. And so I have a recommendation and an experiment for each of you. It won't take but five minutes of your time, but I think it will have an impact on how you look at a number of things. Here's what I would like you to do. When you're at home sometime, take one of your cans of Coke or Pepsi, I'm not trying to differentiate the two, um, and pour it into a saucepan. And boil the um, drink very slowly, but boil it and have a wooden spoon. And to stir um, the liquid as it drains lower and lower and boils off. And in both circumstances, what you're left with is a thick brown sludge. And it's not just a little sludge. It's enough sludge that you could probably um, coat the top of a cake. What is it? It's sugar and chemicals. And those are the sugar and chemicals that are energizing, or energizing you so much of the day. And so the recommendation is you have to realize when you're living off of something external as opposed to internal. As I constantly highlight, we all live life really from the inside out. The vitality that we have in life needs to come from our passions and our purpose. It needs to come from our connections and contribution. It needs to come from within and outward. Too often when those components are missing, they're disguised because people have so many stimulants. In the workplace, I think it's often caffeine and sugar. Um, when you get outside the workplace, you, you end up with amphetamine, cocaine, and other stimulants. Again, they're say, serving the same purpose. They're giving activity to a life that really is devoid of meaningful activity. So my recommendation with that experiment is that I hope it registers to you, maybe you need to pause from drinking Coke and Pepsi on a regular basis. Maybe you need to pause from adding so many stimulants to your body on a regular basis and see how you feel. And I think if you do that, you'll find out how much do you really like your work? How much is your work really aligned with your passion? How much is your life fulfilling your purpose? You also, I think, will realize the quality of the home life. Instead of a lot of action and activity, you'll see more of what may be missing. And again and again, I think part of the issue for all of us is we have to see the problem before we can find a solution. So the habit for all of us is to lead a cleaner life. And if you lead a cleaner life, I think you have a clearer vision of your life. And if you have a clearer vision of your life, then I think you're more willing to make some of the suggestions um, that I may raise as new habits. You are a little more motivated to make those small changes that I think will lead to significant advantages. So try that experiment. Try to see if you can change the lens that you see life through and make it a little bit cleaner. And let's see if your own vision of your life is a little bit clearer. If it is, I think we're on the same wavelength. If it is, I think I can really try to improve your life. So subscribe if interested. Subscribe if this resonates with you. And again, let's try to work together 
to see if we can't make ourselves better, our lives better, and the world better. Uh, that would be a wonderful outcome and something that I would like to accomplish with your help. Thank you.